Hi. How can we know which values are important for people? What people do we value? Are there differences in values between countries, genders, cultures? How can we measure values? What is the Schwarz value model and Schwarz value inventory? In this video, we attempt to answer these questions. You already know the model of Maslow's pyramid of needs. Maybe you wonder why we are speaking of needs when we are talking of values. In fact, what we value most in life refers to our needs. We value food because you need it. And you value security and self-development because you need them. So our needs are important source of values and in this sense they are universal. All people need food, security, appreciation. That is exactly what makes Maslow's model similar to that of Schwarz, universality. Schwarz, like Maslow, is telling us that all people had the same general values, but some have to a greater extent and some to a lesser extent. So, for all people, security and conformity, collective values and achievement and hedonism, individualistic values, are important, but for some people and some cultures, individualistic values dominate and in others, collective values. Okay. Why are these basic values universal? Schwarz explains it by indicating three different activation mechanisms. First is the biological channel. We have similar biological needs such as being stimulating, being secure, feeling pleasure, which lead us to appreciate such values as stimulation, security or hedonistic values. The second channel results from the necessity for social interaction. If we don't maintain our culture, language, common worldview, in other words, our tradition. Keep a balance. That I can tell you in one word. Tradition! It can be difficult to communicate effectively and build a common identity. So, social interaction activates such values as tradition and conformity. The third channel is the survival and well-being of the group. This manifests itself in such values as benevolence and universalism. If we don't want to help other people in times of necessity, the group won't survive. Focusing only on ourselves, we can't make the group survive. Schwarz distinguishes 10 basic needs. These 10 groups of values he divides into four basic groups. We can divide them into two other dimensions, personal, social or individual collective and in growth, anxiety-free, self-protection, anxiety-based. One of the four big groups is openness to change. It is based on and embraces such values as stimulation, self-direction, and to some extent, hedonism. Enhancement group involving a very individualistic set of values, which is present to a greater extent in the Western world, encompasses hedonism, achievement, and power. These two groups have a personal focus. On the opposite side of the circle, we find two groups oriented on social factors. Here we count firstly self-transcendence, which refers to the ability of the person to transcend his or her own interests 
and to consider the needs of other people. In this scope, we include universalism, for instance, a belief and appreciation of the attitude that all people are equal. We also include here benevolence, the positive approach to another person. The second group of these socially oriented value sets is called actually conservation in sense of protection of community values. And we include here security, conformity, and tradition. We can associate it with conservatist values. How do we measure these various values and why? In the previous videos, you have already heard that we can learn about values in different ways, through different questions. Okay. However, we may be tempted to say that we value something, but in fact we do not. So, how to measure values differently without seeing the person? You can do that, as Schwarz did, by asking questions indirectly by showing the interviewed person different persons doing various things and asking to what extent they felt like this person or to what extent they felt like differently. So during the interview you would be asked to what extent do you feel like the following person? It is important to have him to live in secure surroundings. She, he avoids anything that might endanger her his safety. You would have a six-point scale to answer these questions. Very much like me, like me, somewhat like me, a little like me, not like me, not like me at all. Why do we measure values? It can be important, especially in modern globalized times, where different cultures have to interact in one company, or where different countries are speaking on a global forum about the economy, sustainability, or peace. Countries may vary in their attitude to these topics, depending on the values which dominate in them. To sum up, Schwarz defines values as conceptions of desirables that guide the actions of social actors like organizational leaders, policy makers, individual people. So his concept refers to all of the three levels of ethics. They are important and have an impact on our actions. We use values to evaluate people and situations and explain the actions of other people. Which kind of values mentioned by Schwarz are important for you, among your family, friends, for a company you are working for, in your country or world region? Are the discrepancies, do they change in time? in the 1940s, 60s, 80s, among millennials? Do you like to communicate with people with common values or different ones? Which problem might occur when people have different values? Okay. What might people from collective cultures think about our individualistic culture and how do individualistic cultures value collective ones? How do you think these values relate to the concepts of human nature? Can we ascribe certain values to some concepts of human nature? What do you think? <music>